One thing I felt working from home as a teacher was that I didn't get the same kind of energy from either my students or colleagues. What can we do about that? That's a fucking good question. Mm. Um, yeah. I uh, like because I have a bunch of teachers in my friend circle, and they are uh, they are also echoing this problem. Mm. How can you? How can you get? How can you read the energy in a room over a distance? This is what I do. Mm -hmm. uh, like I, like we here. Like uh, I'm, I'm having a direct uh, contact with you here. Like I'm speaking things, and you are hearing it immediately, and we have mm. like this thing going back and forth. Mm. Uh, and that is very, very satisfying. That's very, very stimulating for me as a as a human being. Uh, when I have a guest on, I have a remote connection. Uh, it is trickier because there is a slight delay. Mm. It's almost not perceptible, but the, it is there. I think it's like 100 milliseconds or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. Not even that, like 50. But it's enough mm. for uh, you to not be able to time your mm. rooms right. Mm. Uh, and mm. uh, so that means that people tend to not do that and they tend to interrupt less, which makes it harder for the person, for the person communicating to, to know if people are listening or not. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. don't get that feedback. So I think that, I totally uh, so I think that you, uh, you, you just don't, you just get less feedback. Yeah. So you have no idea what you're doing is good. Uh, and that is why Twitch works. Because this we is have fantastic. It you get a lot of feedback and a lot of nice people yep. uh, talking, talking with you. And uh, I must say, like doing our, we're doing a lot of um, lectures and workshops. Usually now we're doing a lot yeah. of webinars, of course. And uh, I think there are a lot of tricks that you can use in order to get that interaction yeah. going and get that uh, instant uh, feedback. Yeah, we've been using a lot of combination of like. In Zoom, you could do breakout rooms to get people talking yeah. to uh, two and two. Uh, we p sometimes post questions in the in the chat yeah. for for different uh, things, uh, and I think um, that kind of uh, things yeah. really makes me feel that it's more yeah, meaningful. Yeah, for sure. Like you need otherwise. some kind of proxy to like you looking out over the audience and seeing like how yeah. people are positioning. You need uh, proxies for. Uh, for clapping, like we, I talked about. My I had an agile coach here uh, the other week, and he talked a lot about uh, like running things in video conferencing mm. uh, requires gestures a lot more. Yeah, because you can't do like you can't read people's body mm. language in the same like, way. Are these Swedes yeah. angry now? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But it, you like here, you 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 have so little. Even though we have a pretty wide lens here. Like it's so little of our body language that you can uh, that you can read. Mm. Uh, it's like you lose a lot of the body language my, uh, um, bandwidth. So he suggested like a lot of like using the gestures that yeah. uh, uh, deaf people do to clap yeah, and do this like yes mm. yes 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 or like. Uh, and I suggested that wow we should build this into video conferencing software yeah, yeah, yeah. so that you can get a legend. Mm. Uh, so that when people do gestures and people are unfamiliar with it, like machine learning actually recognizes mm. a gesture mm. and, and it puts, puts, puts help. So I think that like, okay. video conferencing, it, right now when we are in this super remote uh, field, perhaps we can figure out ways of making video conferencing superior to normal meetings by doing things that are impossible to do otherwise. Mm. I think this uh, this Brian has some interesting. Um, yeah. Oh wow! Oh, async like Brian like we've done a lot of asynchronous lectures in the past month. So sometimes that feedback is five or more hours oh, delayed. Wow. Yeah. Oh man, yeah. stop doing that. Do live. <laughs> Do live. Uh, use like do or it on do it on Twitch. Or uh, Brian, yeah. if you. Uh, or what mm. is your experience of what worked? Yeah. How could it be meaningful for you even if yeah. there, you have five hours of delay? Do you have yeah. your what's your best tips and tricks? But I I like for um, for as a YouTuber like that is the problem. Like I roll roll it like I do the thing, 
and then I put it up and then feedback comes in. Yeah, yeah. And the like the brain just doesn't make the connection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like telling it like it's like telling a dog that it shouldn't pee on the carpet mm, mm. like hours after it peed on the carpet. You just you're just not gonna make yeah, the connection. Yeah, yeah. Um, for me it's uh it's uh, super important like the live thing yeah. is super important. Streams absolutely yeah. work. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then it's just about getting the students to actually go their own cover and participate. Yeah, yeah exactly. And yes, uh, and also like in that main, like the map that I have running here in the beginning is basically just to get people writing in chat, mm -hmm. so that you you don't lean back, but actually just you start engaging mm -hmm. uh, to get people off and doing something. Mm. Uh, so uh, and there's so many fun things to do. Hold up, like you, have have you ever played Jackbox? Um, make What's it in, uh, make it interactive. It's uh, it's a quiz kind of mm -hmm. game. Uh, so you uh, everybody just joins with their phone, mm -hmm. uh, and then they interactively like sit and and answer answer questions, and then the results are played out on screen. Okay, mm -hmm. and it's like super whimsical and like making it interactive so that everybody has to participate. Mm. Uh, do like live polls on it. Mm. Um, yeah, he likes those. Mm. This is also an interesting. Uh, Klein Freund yeah. um, is writing about the daily coffee chat meeting. Uh, we worked with that as well because w one of the things that we can see also in the research about virtual teams is yeah. that people tend to get too effective. Uh -huh. uh, in a ah, sense, like, yeah, okay, yeah. now we have a digital meeting, mm -hmm. a virtual meeting, okay, we will do the agenda, yeah. we'll, and then they don't do the normal so so social chatter, oh. which is very rewarding for it, um, just um, just showing up for work. Yeah, I yeah. mean, those are also behaviors that you need to reward and yeah. feel to feel this meaningfulness, and why am I doing this, and what's the point of all of this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if people you just like take that, that thing, away, yeah. then it's like, oh, work, it's not that fun. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so you don't get coffee, these, oh, I saw right, that uh, thing you did, that was amazing, or thank you for doing that thing, like, that tends to go to the, go to the side. Mm, mm. And also just like the checking in, like when you walk into a meet, like walk into a room and just like, hello, how are you? Mm. Um, and just dorking off, um, that kind of whimsicalness is, is very important and needed in a workplace. Yeah. Hello. Oh, hello. Uh, hope you enjoyed that clip. If you did, you should know that it was brought into existence indirectly by a sponsorship of remote.work. Thank you so much for sponsoring the show, Remote.Work. Remote.Work claims to be the number one destination to find and list incredible remote jobs. New remote jobs are posted every day in programming, engineering, design, product, uh, DevOps, you name it. Check them out using the link in the episode description to show them that you came from here. Thank you so much, Remote Work, for sponsoring the show. Also, if you like this clip, you should know that it came from a live stream that I do every Monday and every Wednesday at 7 a.m. Pacific time on twitch.tv slash funfunfunction. You can watch a full uh, version of this particular uh, live stream if you want uh, using a link in the episode description. Or if you prefer to stay on YouTube, you can just watch another clip right here. Or if you really like this, you can subscribe here. I am MPJ. Until next time, stay curious.